thing. There's a there's a very thick line between She's being now, politically way. incorrect and being racist. And words matter. So when a, a community of people that has been perpetually uh, marginalized at institutions across America over history feels offended, we should acknowledge that. And I think that these protests are a reflection of a community of minorities that feel unacknowledged and not respected. And so, Ben, I read your article today, and it was I was shocked by the language you used. Uh, you, were you were saying that it's time She's for the right call the police to right fight. Now. Yeah. <laughs> No, but you read his evidence, column. Evidence, 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 evidence. All this is is screaming and feelings. How about like a shred of evidence, even for the incidents that actually evidence. happened in Missouri reports. that drove this... Pre really? 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 What, where was the police report Ms exactly when it came to, for example, the first N-word incident that led all of this? There was no police report on any of that. In the second incident, at the N-word at the University of Missouri, the administration investigated, and the kid's under investigation. But, In the third but incident wait, with, the I, cop cars, listen, but listen, with the car let, hitting let, the Let me just ask you this, because we're short on time. You tell me, Namiki, whether we are training these kids to be little cupcakes who never have to it, have never have to encounter anything offensive a assuming everything you said is offensive they never have to encounter it because they can call the cops or they can get their administrators fired or whether it's better to educate them that there are offensive things in life there are insulting things in life there are people who will say very in incorrect or impolite things about you politically incorrect things about you very publicly and in a way that you might feel very offense offended by and you have to deal with that in life I think you have to deal with it understand that but I think that you know this is a blame the victim situation we should be ridding the world of bigotry which we talking about that rather than blaming it on the victim who feels hurt uh, disrespected on campus who doesn't feel heard by their administrators. I, lo I love that utopia. It's, it, do it doesn't exist. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not realistic. It does not exist. It, good luck getting rid of all the Blame bigotry. The victim. Well, we can all the bigotry. That. We're just going to wipe the world. We, we, we'd we'd love to, we, but it's not reality. They I gotta literally go. just fired a white guy for being a white guy, and he's the victim. Okay, That's I got to go. Not true. Great debate. Thank you both. I've triggered this one right here. She has been seriously triggered. Do you want to do an interview? I'm on the job right now. Oh, okay. In what in what aspect of uh, American culture do women not have equal rights? The fact that we don't have paid maternity leave, but we still have a culture that says that women should care for children, I think it's very sexist. So you want to go against the biological uh, ticking of humans that women are the raisers of children? That's biologically incorrect, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, would any of you like to engage in political discourse with me? Would any of you like to have a debate? It might be a better opportunity for your cause to actually engage in a conversation than just dance in the streets. But I'm starting to think that's all you want to do. That's the car that just ran through those Minnesota plates. One, two, two. Isabel, okay. I want to get paid the same as a man, and I think you understand that. So, if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man, and do I get to choose what I do with my body? You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that I feel like it's incredibly patronizing for you to paint these questions this way, especially as a white man. I don't expect you to be able to understand what people of color are actually saying with regards to cancel Colbert. He has a history of sorry, making jokes. Sorry, being a white man doesn't, give, doesn't prevent me from being able to think and doesn't prevent me from being able to have, uh, have thought, reasoned perspectives on things. I, don't, I, I didn't give I know, up, I didn't give up totally my right to be able to have an intellectual right. conversation when I was born. I know, but uh, well, well, white men definitely feel like they're entitled to talk over me. They definitely feel like they're entitled to kind of minimalize my experiences and they definitely feel like they are somehow exempt and so logical compared to women who are painted as emotional, right?
No, no one's minimalizing your your experiences. No one's minimalizing your right to have an opinion. It's just a stupid opinion. I mean, it's it's a it's a misunderstanding of what of what. You just called is. my opinion stupid. You just <laughs> called my opinion stupid. That's incredibly unproductive, and I don't think I'm going to enact the labor of having to explain to you why that's incredibly offensive and patronizing. Explain. I just told you I wouldn't enact that labor. Okay. Thanks for being with us, Sui. You've let me, restarted, let me, let me fair enough. Let me just stop you so you don't waste a line of questioning. I'm just giving you... <laughs> I love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. What's... What well, just mean? talking me through how... how what do, well, what do, what by do, not answering the question, what do you, by what do you, what do you repeating suggesting? processes which so, are not related to the question that I've asked. What's, what's mansplaining, what's Senator? Well, it's the slightly patronising and condescending way that you're responding to my questions. Well, I would suggest, Senator, that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what I'm doing, you're doing that which I'm sure you're very much against, is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as a man. Well, then the easiest way what, to do is it... What, is that what well, you're saying, Senator? Well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronising and condescending, and I have responded to that. So the easiest by, by, by way to deal with this is not, imagine, is not ima to, imagine, Senator, is not to, imagine to have if that I said way you were in woman responding splaining. to the questions imagine I've Imagine the asked. reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used. Is it when, by whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude, doesn't, doesn't make by rude senators, uh, by senators no. who are seeking to make gender an issue. Stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself it. appropriately for this well, place. I'm sorry you're so offended by the use of the word. It is it is a word that's used. Uh, it's it's a. I'm surprised that you're so shocked by the use of the word. No, I'm just um, I'm just calling hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Well, thy name yes. is Labor. Thy name is Senator Gallagher. This is a pregnant man. Yes, they are female to male. When he went to the hospital and had his child. He was upset because many of the hospital staff was referring to him as the mother. Some of you may say, this is what's the problem with that? He is biologically the mother. And while that is true, here's why it's disrespectful. He goes by male pronouns and is a male. Yes, he did just have a child, which is something that traditionally a mother does, but he is a man. He is the father. When you're referring to him and you're talking straight to him, why would you give him mother, knowing that that's traditionally a woman, when he's identifying as a man? Your mind should automatically say father. And at no point do you catch yourself and say father. You just keep saying mother. That's why it's problematic, because you're seeing a man... Yes, he just had a child, but you're seeing a man with a whole ass beard and you're still saying mother. You would think that your mind would tell you, I should probably say father. That's why it's disrespectful. And then there's some of you out there saying it's no big deal. No, it is a big deal. To a trans person, gender identity matters. This is no different than a gay couple that has kids together you would refer to them both as the father. Same thing. And I'm also hearing a lot of women, and a lot of them have been black, which is upsetting because they're saying they're trying to erase women. Well, how are they trying to erase women? They're not, I, they're not saying that women don't exist. They're just saying that they are not a woman. It's all about respect at the end of the day. Respect people and how they, by how they would like to be treated. He would like to be treated as a man. It's not that hard to do. And that has nothing to do with you, and it's not, it has nothing to do, and it's nothing to take away from you. No one's trying to take away women. Using, Using multiple, multiple pronouns. pronouns. My pronouns are she, her. And mine are they, she, but today I prefer she. Prefer? I thought preferred pronouns were outdated. Well, respecting someone's pronouns is not a matter of preference, but you can use preferred pronouns when referring to someone who uses multiple pronouns and has a preference as to when each one is used. Some people use pronouns interchangeably, and it's not really our business to know why, and that's okay. 
Many people put their pronouns in order of priority. For me, they, she reflects that I prefer folks to default to they and use she depending on context. They are helping me with this video and doesn't she look amazing? If you know someone who uses multiple pronouns, see how they refer to themselves and if possible, respectfully ask them what they prefer. It may take some practice, but it's worth it and it's necessary to honor and respect people. I wanted to get people's opinions on the migrant caravan on the southern border. How do you feel about it? Um, I think that a bunch of white people came here like 200 years ago and stole land that Native Americans were living on. And there's no reason for us not to let other people come here when we definitely have the land and the resources. And instead of spending like $600 trillion on military, we should give those people medicine and food and water and shelter and not treat them like criminals. So you mentioned the $600 trillion, right? Where does the majority of that money come from? Um, I honestly don't know. I would assume taxes. So you're willing to pay taxes for people to come into the country and... Yeah, my parents are immigrants. I was born here, but my parents were born in India and they wouldn't have been able to come here without other people paying taxes for them. So I would absolutely pay taxes. Um, but the public has to be willing to open up their homes to house like two, three, four, five families. Would you be willing to do that? I live in a studio apartment, so I personally would not be willing to do that. I know that in Los Angeles, there's a lot of millionaires with a lot of big houses and a lot more room than me. And I feel like it wouldn't be unreasonable to ask a white millionaire that made their fortune through probably corruption to house some immigrants so that they can work honestly. So, what, so you think- so I personally would not be willing to let a bunch of people stay in my studio apartment, but I am a member of an oppressed class. I'm a member of the poor people, which are like 70% of people that live in this country, and I can't be expected to do. You're going in a circle. Yeah, if you make it a crime to try and immigrate, then obviously they're going to be criminals, and then you can call them criminals and say you don't want them to immigrate. So do you think anyone should just be able to walk into the country? Um, I think that, again, there should be a measure to check if you are like a registered felon or if you've committed any violent crimes. But like other than that, yeah, I think if someone wants to come to America, they should be able to.